Good morning, and it's great to be with you again for another devotional. Why Compassionate Ministry? Faith and works go hand in hand. Zach Williams has a song entitled, Less Like Me. It talks about being more like Jesus and less like me. It starts off like this. Oh, I have days I lose the fight, try my best, but just don't get it right. When I talk a talk that I don't walk and miss the moments right before my eyes. Somebody with a hurt that I could have helped. Somebody with a hand that I could have held. When I just can't see past myself. Oh, Lord, help me be a little bit more like mercy, a little more like grace, a little more like kindness, goodness, love, and faith. A little more like patience, a little more like peace, a little more like Jesus, a little less like me. Now James talks about being more like Jesus when he talks about how our faith and works go hand in hand. Let's look at it together. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith help them or save them? Suppose a brother or a sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says to them, go in peace, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about their physical needs, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by actions, is dead. As the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without deeds is dead. Now if you're like me, you say to yourself, wait a minute, is the Bible giving contradicting messages here? See in Ephesians 2, 8-9 it says, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. James is not saying our works saves us. It is completely different. Let's look at the word deeds or works here to understand why compassionate ministry and faith go hand in hand. When we look at the word deeds or works, there are three main uses of the term. Although distinct, all are essentially related. They are the works of God, the works of Jesus Christ, and the works of man in relation to faith. It is this third one I want us to look at today, the works of man in relation to faith. So in Ephesians, when it says, not by works, Paul is referring to the works that man does to try and justify himself or to, to save himself. It is the works that man says, see what I have done. I am a good person because I have done this or that, and I will be in heaven because I am a good person. I cannot tell you how many times I have heard somebody tell me they are a good person and they will go to heaven. Paul says, no, it is by grace through faith you are saved, not by works. So what is it that James is trying to tell us here? What is it that he's saying when he says, What good is it, my brothers, if a man claims to have faith but has no deeds or works? You see, James is referring to the change that takes place in a man when he is saved. We find in 2 Corinthians 5.17, it says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old is gone, the new is here. It is this change in us that produces the works or deeds that James is talking about. It is like someone saying, I believe in God. Well, good, even the demons believe in God, but that does not save you. It is when we acknowledge to God that we are sinners and ask for forgiveness that we are saved by grace through faith. When that happens, then a change in us takes place. That is why James says, what good is it, my brothers, if a man claims to have faith but has no deeds. As the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without deeds is dead. We are a new creation filled with the love of God, which in turn drives us to have compassion, which produces good works or deeds. Our life should show others that we are Christians. This is what James is saying when he says, suppose a brother or sister is without clothes or daily food. If one says to him, go, I wish you well, keep warm, and well fed, but does nothing about his physical needs, what good is it? If we are a changed person, then we will do something about that physical need because of the love of Christ that drives us to meet that need. 
There is a song that says, And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. The word love here shows action. Our love for God flows through us and out to others around us. It drives us to action, in turn, which shows the world we are Christians. In the teacher's commentary, L. O. Richard says, The kind of faith which saves also transforms, and that transformation will show up in the lifestyle of the true believer. So why Compassionate Ministry? Because when we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we are changed into a new person, and that change produces works that others see, showing our love for God and man. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for today. I thank you for your word. I thank you that you have changed us and made us into a new creation. Father, through that change, will you continue to fill us with your love so that as Zach Williams says in his song, a little bit less like me and a little bit more like you. Fill us with your love, Father, so that we can go out and do the works that you have called us to do to show others that we are your children. We ask this in your name. Amen.